RES is a location where there's great wind and solar and where we coordinate development of renewable energy projects and transmission infrastructure. We've got to build about 22 gigawatts of wind and solar to get to our 80% uh, renewable energy target by 2035. And if we do that in an uncoordinated way, um, that will really leave terrible outcomes for communities and mean that we probably can't get there. In Queensland, we're really um, leveraging the public ownership position and the role of Powerlink as the publicly owned TNSP to help play a significant role in, in res development uh, and then supported by the government leaning in on some of the critical enablers for that. What we've seen in Queensland already is a number of in-flight res developments really making huge strides, you know, very quick cycle times to being delivered um, and really making sure that we're not uh, impacting investment timeframes or slowing investment by creating undue regulatory burden or, or really complicated framework. So our, our advantage has been our ability to keep it simple, work with our strengths and make sure that that means projects can get delivered. The reses are one component of a coordinated kind of system plan and what's critical is we're leveraging a market-led approach but we're also making sure that the role of government is clear in supporting some of the really deep storage assets in the state like Barumba and Pioneer, um, making sure the backbone transmission is there to unlock those reses and coordinating that with a really gradual withdrawal of thermal generation and conversion into future clean energy hubs. So it is a coordinated whole of system plan and reses play a really integral role uh, in that um, whole of system thinking.